Terry Curran has already shown the value of the loan system. Two impressive performances from him in the first half of his month with Everton from Sheffield United. Peter Reid is ineligible for selection today, so it's the same Everton side that won at Ipswich last Saturday. No room for top scorer Andy King or for Billy Wright, the captain. That responsibility resting again with David Johnson. Luton also expressed an interest this week in Peter Reid, looking to strengthen their squad. But apart from Geddes for Steen, it's the same lineup that beat Manchester City last Saturday. It's Luton Town then who kick off, attacking the goal to the right in the first half. Thanks to the undersoil heating at Goodison Park, a fine surface for this match. Both these teams looking to build on useful results last week. Everton winning at Ipswich after nine previous games without a win in the league in the Milk Cup. Touch from Adrian Heath, found Kevin Richardson, but the first shot is dragged wide of Jake Finley's goal. And the man in charge today is Mike Peck from Kendall in Cumbria. Richardson got his head to it for Everton, and then Sheedy. Money staying close to Adrian Heath again. But Heath might have lost him this time. Turner diving in. Heath blocked by the goalkeeper. This is Curran. And Johnson. Finley stuck out of hand. the offside flag goes up but Luton were looking for that a moment or two earlier when Adrian Heath got clear but was onside the ball eventually played back in by Curran Johnson got his head to it but Finley saved after moving in the opposite direction Sheedy Heath trying to catch Luton square again down for Johnson and Finley can he recover the linesman judges that he can Stopping moment for the goalkeeper, who really should have had no problems with David Johnson's shot here. But through the legs it went, and then it was a turn and desperate chase to stop it crossing the line as Heath followed in. Free kick against Geddes. Nudged Ratcliffe as they both jumped. David Geddes meaning a slightly different style for Luton, a more orthodox front player than Brian Steen. First, perhaps the ball in the air, and a goal! John Bailey, a complete freak. Bailey from inside his own half, out came Finlay, bemused by the bounce. You can watch First Division football for another 20 years and not see a goal like that. But here's Walsh for Luton. The linesman has his flag raised, presumably for offside. John Bailey hasn't scored for Everton since September 1980. But he could hardly have dreamt that he would end a run like that. Everton have failed to score in their three previous home games in the first division. And Richard Money being spoken to by Mr Peck. Jake Finlay still recovering from the shock. Meanwhile, the referee had taken the name of Richard Money. Geddes. Ratcliffe was up a little early. 
walks Hill joining in. Here's Moss. And the referee is going to book Steve McMahon for bringing down Ricky Hill after the ball had been played. There's Hill playing the ball off as McMahon dived. Bailey. And Finlay hesitated, and John Bailey nearly got a second. Johnson's presence confusing the goalkeeper, but Jake Finlay unnerved. Stevens. Just holding a line on the edge of the area. Finally, Horton came out to try and close down the man in possession, who was McMahon. Finley setting the wall. Ratcliffe makes a move. It's set up for Sheedy. Deflected in. Two nil. Finley wrong footed. Just swerved as Horton challenged as Sheedy let fly. And Finley was a long way away from it. Again, getting a foot in and maybe freeing Curran. Only Heath in the middle for Everton. Curran looks to go his own way and then dives. Despite the reaction of the crowd, Richard Money was the defender involved. Curran needed no second bidding to take him on. But the referee said that was a dive and I think he would be right. Anyway, it's an untidy first half, but a good one for Everton. Jake Finley beaten by Kevin Cheedy's free kick for the second goal. The one that will be remembered for a long time here was the way Everton took the lead. John Bailey pumping the ball forward from inside his own half. Finley completely misreading the bounce. An absolute freak. And at half time, it's Everton 2, Luton Town 0. Everton's last home win was back on October the 23rd. But they're well placed to end that productive run. Sheedy, this time with the right foot. He'd be the first to admit he's not the stronger. A crowd of just under 15,000, which represents an improvement on Everton's last home game. And the free kick wasted by Bailey. Bringing the ball straight to Ficillo. There have been a lot of wasted passes in this game. Ficillo can try again. Heath tries to stop him and gives away a free kick. perhaps that he hasn't had the best of service Adrian Heath Guinness booted forward by Richardson headed well by Johnson for Curran immediately two players drawn towards him still Curran He'll take a bow now. Terry Curran is back in the first division with a vengeance. Well, on this occasion, Luton couldn't close him down. And Curran went on, fired away with the left foot. And it beat Finlay to his left. Chilo. 27 minutes of the second half gone. 3 0 courtesy of Terry Curran.
Karen again. Heath, it's four. Terry Karen is running riot. Goal maker and goal scorer in delight. Curran in full cry and with the presence of mind to select the right pass for Heath. Two goals in two minutes. And Everton now can look perhaps to match their best win of the season. They beat Aston Villa here 5-0 in September. David Johnson is the player coming off. He took a knock early in the second half. Graham Sharp comes on. And for Sharp, maybe a climate here that would suit him in terms of getting back into the way of scoring goals. Top scorer last season. Been as prolific this time, that's why he's lost his place. Heath. And a big cheer every time the ball reaches Curran. Walsh giving it straight to Sheedy. It's been an unhappy afternoon for Luton Town. Here's Geddes, and Higgins, the more determined. David Geddes finding a possibility of an opening coming his way, but Higgins denied him. Money, who brought problems on in self by miscontrolling was caught by Sharp and is slow onto his feet as Luton go forward with Guinness and a driven cross it reached Moss by the goalkeeper's fingertips and still there's no joy here for Luton but it was a show of power here by Geddes who has been a dormant figure really for much of the game the driven cross, and Arnold couldn't hang on. Moss diverted it back, and it was put behind by Ratcliffe. And then the corner dealt with by Higgins. And Stevens. Well, it's coming off for Curran, the little flick at Creed McMahon. And now Heath. Second for Adrian Heath and Terry Curran at the root of it again. His pass sent McMahon on his way, an intelligent ball, Heath unattended. Horton keeping his endeavour going. a problem here do they have the money to buy him outright the fans certainly will want him to stay at Goodison Park he scored one and made two for Adrian Heath in the second half to add to the first half goals from John Bailey and Kevin Cheedy the final score it's Everton 5 Luton Town 0